the headlines of Kentucky News. Leaders of Kansas City People's Committee and Department Centers received Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands to Vietnam, Keith Van Baal, who came to visit and work in Kansas City. Kansas City People's Committee gave instructions to clear difficulties for the real estate market and development of accommodation. The Special Group of Kansas City's military headquarters inspected the preparation for training recruits in 2023 at the Infantry Regiment 932. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continues and Top News today. On February 15th morning, Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Nguyễn Ngọc Hà and leaders of department centers received Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands to Vietnam, Kiev Van Bar, who came to visit and work in Kansas City. Also present at a working session was Concerned General of the Netherlands, Cohen Red Stock. Welcoming the first visit paid by the Ambassador of the Netherlands to Mekonenta region, Vice Chairman Nguyễn Ngọc Hà reminded of highlights in the friendship and cooperation relation between Kanto and Dutch counterparts, hoping that the Ambassador would introduce businesses to invest in Kanto City, boost cooperation and exchange of experiences in the areas of education, agriculture and climate change adaptation. Ambassador of the Netherlands, Key Van Baal, affirmed the importance of the cooperation relationship with the Mekondenta region, including Kansas City. The ambassador will make efforts to boost and connect with Dutch investors and cooperative activities in potential areas. Besides, the two sides will organize practical activities to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship this year. Kansas City People's Committee has just given instructions to clear difficulties for the real estate market and the development of accommodation. The chairman of Kansas City People's Committee assigned the Planning and Investment Department to be in charge and combined with the Departments of Construction and Natural Resources and Environment and relevant units to check over the construction progress of commercial and social housing projects accommodation for workers and real estate projects in the city, find out which projects and their main investors have been lagged behind schedule and proactively remove difficulties within the power to accelerate the execution progress. The chairman of the Municipal People's Committee also requested the State Bank Counter branch to closely watch the quality of credit loans made in the real estate and to give priority to social accommodation and workers' accommodation projects. On February 14th afternoon, Kansas City Sponsoring Association for Poor Patients organized the presentation of gifts to poor patients who are receiving treatment at hospitals. 50 needy patients who are receiving treatment at Kansas City General Hospital were offered gifts, each valued at 500,000 Vietnam dollars in cash. On this occasion, Kansas City Sponsoring Association for Poor Patients and Sponsors directly visited and offered the hospital cost support of 60 million Vietnam dong for three patients with particularly difficult backgrounds. Besides, the association also offered gifts to 50 needy patients and a treatment at Kansas City's Oncology Hospital. It gift is valued at 1 million Vietnam dong. The total value of gifts was 135,000 Vietnam dong raised by the association and monk Thích Minh Thong from Phật Học Cantor Pagelda. The inspection group of Cantor City's military headquarters on February 14th came to inspect the preparation for training recruits in 2023 at the Infantry Regiment 932. This year, the Infantry Regiment 932 under the city's military headquarters received and trained 90 recruits. The training is expected to begin in March. After checking, Colonel Huan Wang Fung, Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the military headquarters, praised efforts exerted by the staff of the regiment in the past time. While requesting the regiment to continue well doing their tasks, closely catching recruits' thoughts, ensuring contents and quality of training. On February 14th, at Thung Phu Junior Secondary School, Garang District Young Pioneers Council, in combination with Kansas City Library, publicized the electronic reading model with them to improve the digital competence for children in 2022-2023 school year. 
Students of Hung Fu Junior Secondary School were instructed how to retrieve the book titles of the city's library, joint reading activities at the exhibition site, took part in the knowledge puzzle on Kahoot app. These activities help students search appropriate types of books, newspapers, and better serve their learning. The model will then be publicized at other junior secondary schools in the district by the Young Pioneers Council and Kansas City Library. As planned by the Education and Training Ministry, tertiary education recruitment in 2023 will begin earlier than in 2022. Tertiary education registration starts in July in the online form at the information portal of the Education Training Ministry or the portal of the National Public Services. With the aim to facilitate recruitment in this year's recruitment period, the number of expectations for tertiary education recruitment is not limited by the Education and Training Ministry. Priorities are given to the ordinal number of expectations, as previously contestant can adjust their expectations to be suitable with their competence and recruited opportunity. Kansas City People's Committee has just approved the high school recruitment for the 2023-2024 school year. Under the decision, students who are eligible to be recruited without seating for the exam are those of the boarding high school for ethnic minority students, students of ethnic minorities of La Hu, La Ha, Ba Thuyen, Lu, Ngai, among others, disadvantaged students, students winning awards at national contests and international contests on culture, music, sports, national level science technique contests for high school students. In case students are categorized into two or three more groups of priority, they have added marks of the highest priority group. Regarding plus marks, students who are children of war matters won values with loss of labor power of at least 81%, and children of combatant suffering chemical poison effects are given two marks in priority. By the end of this week, the silent intrusion will begin in the Mekong region. Sound is intruded in tens of kilometers deeply into regional provinces and cities. This will leave bad impacts on agricultural production and the quality of daily use water sources. It's forecast that the peak saline intrusion begins on February 18th. This will affect the water usage of irrigation works built within 30 to 45 kilometers far from land from February 18th to late March. The saline intrusion level is the same as the level seen last year. In Kansas City, salt water intrudes into Kansas City from Hau River when the tide rises and recedes. Kansas is also preparing solutions in response to salt water intrusion with a focus made on the proper exploitation and usage of water sources in the drought season. According to the Natural Resources and Environment Department, tidal water brings salt into urban and suburban streets that lie along Hau River, such as Kai Rang. To proactively deal with the salt water intrusion, Kansas City People's Committee requested Committee Department setters, People's Committees of Districts, and the Student Board for Natural Disaster Control, Search and Rescue at all levels to closely monitor and give warnings to people at places of high risks of salt water intrusion to organize irrigation work and restore fresh water for daily use. In the last minutes, let's look at the updated weather forecast. The updated for the forecast also wrapped up this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentertv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.